Among the questions as given in your book, let's do them in some order. Understanding the text and in that the very first question is give reasons for the following. Nimn ke karan bataayin. And there are few questions in that and you have to give answers, give reasons for each of those questions. The first question is, King Tut's body has been subjected to repeated scrutiny. Repeated baram bar. Scrutiny matlab jaanch. Tut ki body ki baram bar jaanch kyo ki gai, baram bar parikshan kyo kiya gaya. That is the question. The second question is, Howard Carter, do you remember this name? The man who first discovered the body, the mummy. His investigation was resented. Resent karna matlab naraj hona. Pasand nahi kiya jana. Na pasand kiya jana. That is the second question. Why? Why was it resented? We'll do that. The third question, Carter had to chisel. Carter had to chisel away the solidified re resins to raise the king's remains. Iske sabhi cutting shabdon ko kar liya gaya hai. Chisel matlab mainne aapko bataya tha chhani. Solidified matlab jo kathor ho gayi thi, solid ho gayi thi jo body. Resin mane gon jaisi cheez, lep jo apply kiya gaya tha body aur box ke bottom ke beech mein, jisse body chipak gayi thi. To raise the king's remains, remain mane avashesh. Raja ke avasheshon ko nikalne ke liye, Carter ko cheni chalani padi thi. Kyo? Aakhir athi kya baat ho gaya thi? Or chotha question, the fourth question, Tut's body was buried along with gilded treasures. Tut ke jo shareer tha, usko waap, usko dafnaya gaya tha with gilded treasure. Ab gilded matlab kya hota? Mulamma laga hua. Uske upar pura lep laga hua. Aise khajane ke saath, aise samano ke saath, jis pe lep laga hua tha, uske shareer ko dafnaya gaya tha. Kyo? Kya soch ke asa kiya gaya tha? And the last of the question in this series is, the boy king changed his name. Do you remember? Tut changed his name from Tutankhaten to Tutankhamen. Why did he change this name? We have done all this, but as a part of exercise, let us do them one by one. The very first question, subjected to repeated scrutiny, why? The answer is, it was in 1922 that Carter, who was a British person, he discovered that tomb. And that was done after many, many years of effort. It must have taken 10, 15, 20 years for him to really pinpoint the place where that body was discovered. Because it was down the earth by 26 to 30 feet. In the words of Jahi Hawass, who was Secretary General of Egypt project on antiquities, mummy is in a very bad condition because of what Carter did in 1920s. So the fact is, yes, it was done to repeated scrutiny, but there were reasons because a lot of efforts were made to really identify, to pinpoint the place where body was lying and digging was done. In the process of digging, Hawass felt probably there has been a lot of damage done to the body. What is the second reason for this feeling? Reason for feeling of what? That his body was damaged. In 1968, you remember, after 22, the next year that comes in the chapter is 68, when Professor of Anatomy did the x-ray for the first time. X-ray uh, with an ordinary x-ray machine because that time the body could not be taken up. And he said that uh, there are some bones and some ribs which are missing. That also pointed to the fact that probably 
some damage had been done, repeated scrutiny has resulted in some kind of problems. And it is this second scrutiny, second anvation, second parikshan done in 1968 that these kind of disparities were found, seen. The third, Tut's mummy was cemented to the bottom of his gold coffin by resin, with the help of resins. And in order to remove, it was very difficult to carry the whole coffin up. And even if it would have been carried, it would not have served the purpose of really knowing the body, the mummy, the chemical compositions in the mummy. And so it had to be separated. Dono ko alag karna tha. And so in order to separate the bottom of the gold coffin with the body, the mummy was put to several hours outside in the blazing sun. Blazing, chamakdar, tej dhup, ek to marubhumi, registan, uski garmi, uski tej dhup me usko rakha gaya. And what was the temperature? You remember? It had got gone almost 149 degree Fahrenheit. And so, effort was made again. But unfortunately, nothing happened. Nothing budged. Kuch hila dula bhi nahi. Puri body ka alag hona to dur, body ka ek hissa bhi nahi hila. So, the mummy had to be cut free by chiseling and the remains were reassembled on sand or wo chisel karke, cut karke, jo mummy tha, uske jo avashesh the, unko alag alag kiya gaya. Kahan se, joint se. They were separated from joints and kept on a wooden casket, wooden platform. And so that also must have led to some damage. It is the same bed where mummy is kept back on the golden platform. The fourth instance, at 6 p.m. what happened? The moment 6 p.m. comes, then the date comes 5th January 2005, when mummy was taken out for CT scan. And after scanning, technician gave it over to workmen. Mummy was put back to the tomb, and all this happened in less than three hours from the time when the body was removed. The pharaoh again now rested in peace finally. Teen hajar teen so varshon se jahaan wah pada hua tha, teen ghante ko chhod kar, teen ghante ke kaal ko chhod kar, usse wapas wahin rakh diya gya. Aur funerary priest ne jaisa usko teen hajar teen so varsh poor rakha tha, लगभग वही स्थिति पे बॉडी थी, तेज हवा उड़नी बंद हो गई थी, विंटर एयर कोल्ड ले स्टिल लाइक डेथ इटसेल्फ इन द वैली ऑफ किंग। तो ये उदाहरण बताता है कि टूट के शरीर का सूक्ष्म परीक्षण क्यों किया जाने लगा, क्यों करने की जरूरत पड़ी। तो नाउ वी मूव टू द क्वेश्चन टू, रिलेटेड � Again, the reasons. Answers are, again, I give you the hint. It was Carter's efforts of testing over years that led to the discovery of tomb. There is no doubt about it. Yet, why people descended? It was very clear. It was during Carter's discovery in 1920s that he did a lot to understand and to learn about the Tut tomb. For this, he had to open, reopen, bring it out, try to bring it out, and uh, as a result, what happened? It was confirmed that it is Tut's tomb which has been discovered. For over 40 years, it allowed to remain as it was. It was in 1968 that mummy was x-rayed by the professor of anatomy. Finally, on 5th January, at 6 p.m. in 2005, Hawass, his team, when they take out the mummy for diagnosis by CT scan, 
after leaning over the body, he says, the mummy is in a very bad condition. And further he adds, because what Carter did in 1920s, obviously, he had to open, reopen and what not. And so, at the first sight, pehli nazar mein, हवास को ऐसा लगा कि काफी कुछ नुकसान हुआ है बॉडी को और वो नुकसान 1920 के आसपास ही हुआ था एंड दैट इज द रीजन व्हाई हार्वर्ड कार्टर्स इन्वेस्टिगेशन लीडिंग टू द डिस्कवरी ऑफ टू टोम वाज रिजेंटेड एंड दे फेल दैट द कंडीशन ऑफ द मम्मी इज गॉन बैड हैज गॉन बैड नॉट इज बैड has gone bad because of the effort by Carter. That is why it was resented. Third question is about the coffin. What to do? How to separate it? The body from the coffin. And since the answer is related to again Howard Carter, Tut's body, mummy, was cemented, bilkul cement ki tarah chipak gai thi, to the bottom of solid gold coffin. Because that resin had become very hardened, so hard that even the sun bath, hot sun bath could not separate it, could not melt the resin. They could not be separated by any amount of reasonable force. Reasonable force matlab? उचित प्रयास उचित ताकत जिसमें कुछ डैमेज ना हो और फिर भी ताकत लगाई जाए बट नथिंग कुड बी डन एंड दिस मेड क्वार्टर टू से वॉट यू रिमेंबर वॉट टू डू वॉट हैज वॉट वॉज टू बी डन अब क्या किया जाए वॉट टू डू नाउ अब क्या करें इन दैट पार्ट ऑफ इजिप्ट सन वॉज स्कॉर्चिंग लाइक हैमर बीटिंग Carter tried that method also of bringing out the body, putting it under the sun to 149 Fahrenheit degree. But as the line says in the writing, in the article, nothing budged. Budge mane hilna. Thus Carter's scientific approach failed. Uska jo vajyanik tarika tha, wo asafal raha. Ab kuch naya karna padega isko alag karne ke liye. And so, he reported the solidified material had to be cut out with a chisel or usne kaha ab yahan kaata piti karni padegi it had to be cut out from beneath the limbs and trunk pair aur ye niche ka hissa hai wahan se jo chipka hua hai usse alag karna padega and only then would it be possible to raise the king's remains raise mane uthana रिमेंस एज आई सेड मीन्स अवशेष अवशेषों को उठाना तभी संभव होगा कार्टस मैन रिमूव द ममीज हेड कट ऑलमोस्ट एवरी ज्वाइंट दे हैड टू कट द ममी फ्री फ्रॉम दैट रेजेंस सीमेंटेड प्रॉपर्टी एंड आफ्टर दैट दे रीअसेंबल्ड इट रिमेंस ऑन ए लेयर ऑफ सैंड विच ऑल्सो हैड leaves in a wooden box with padding padding that hit the damage and his resting bed padding lagaya tha reet lagayi thi taki wo soft rahe body kisi hard cheez se na takraye aur break na ho jaye kyunki with the passage of time the bones had become brittle brittle means what kadkada ke thoda sa bhi tode mode to tut jaye तो और ना टूट जाए इसलिए सॉफ्ट बेड बनाया गया था रेत का और सुरक्षा देने के लिए उसके ऊपर पत्तियां बिछाई गई थी और फिर उसके ऊपर बॉडी को रखा गया था वैसा ही जैसा कि वो टूम में था एंड सो दिस वाज द वर्क डन बाय कार्टर एंड व्हाई चीजलिंग वाज डन इट हैज बीन फेयरली आंसर नाउ टू यू क्वेश्चन फोर it is related to life after death we see many examples here that confirm that the people those days believed 
in life after death that there exists some kind of life even after death of the body. How do we believe that? How did we come to this conclusion? What are the evidences? Well, that is the question. The answer is, Toots time the royal family members used to be very wealthy. So wealthy that everything was of gold. They thought or even hoped that they could take this wealth with them at death, after death. Unka vishwas tha. Kaise lagta hai vishwas tha? Because King Tut for his journey to death after life was provided with huge amount of golden material with pure glittering gold items like precious collars, engraved necklaces, bracelets, rings, amulets, ceremonial dress, apron, what they call as apron, I explained to you, sandals, sheets of, sheets for fingers and for toes that covering, that would cover all the fingers of golden material and what not. And all these were kept inside the coffin. Even the coffin was of gold and the mask too was of pure gold glittering gold. Why all this with gold? Maybe because they believe that there exists life after death and these things will be required in the next life. That is why probably they did all. The Egyptians, royals, the kings, they thought that they could not carry gilded treasure with them at the time of death but they would want it in their afterlife also. Le ja to nahi sakte, apne saath saath, lekin death ke baad ki jo life hai, usme jorrat padegi. Gilded matlab, lamma laga hua, lep laga hua. So this confirms the, the scene in the tomb that was dug out, coffin, that confirmed their firm belief in life after death. And now we come to question number five. What was the question number five about? Question number five is about uh, change of name by Tut. The young king who comes to the throne at the age of 11 changes his name only to rule for another nine years and then die mysteriously. It is still not known how he died off. So why did he change his name? What could be the reason? So the answer is, before Tut comes to the throne, there had passed the strangest period, you remember. Ek bada vichitra kaal Tut ke aane ke pehle, Egypt ke loongo ne dekha tha, rajaon ka. Faro, Amenhotep IV promoted the worship of Aten, the sun disk, and changed his name to Aten Khaten, the servant of Aten. Ye Faro IV ne kiya tha. And he attacked the previous main god, Amun, shattered his images, destroyed them all, clubbed them with hammers, and closed these temples. That means the very religious ideas and concepts were changed by fourth pharaoh. And not only he changed his religion, he, not religion, he changed his god, he changed his belief, but he also saw to it that the previous god and previous beliefs are destroyed. And this was a very strange thing happening. At the same time, he changed the capital also, his name also. And that is the reason author calls it a very strange thing. After his death, another ruler comes for a very short time. 
Till now, all the rulers were great. But with this strange thing happening, the first impact noted was short period of the next king. And they blamed it to the religious upheavals. Dharmik jo utha patak hui thi, uska parinam shayad raha hoga ki agle raja ka kaal bahut thoda raha. Very short time and died uh, without leaving any mark. This was something that had not happened in that dynasty which ruled for hundreds of years. But it happened for the first time. Maybe because they had antagonized, they had annoyed, they had made their god goddesses unhappy. And so the next ruler was a short time. But Tutan Khaten comes to the throne, who is known as in short Tut. Now Tut comes to the throne. King Tut he is widely known today. The first name was Tutankhaten. Now what he did? He again brought back the old religious practices, old gods and goddesses, old temples that were destroyed and damaged, he restored them back. In other words, Tut started restoration, Punar Nirman. Not only that, he changed his name to Tutankhamun, living image of Amun. Uska anuvaj jo hota hai, angreji mein living image. Amun ki ka pratibimb, jeev jita jagata pratibimb, ye usne apnu ko naam diya. Though he ruled for only nine years and died unexpectedly, but then he did succeed in bringing these changes. And so that's the reason why his name is changed from Tutankhaten to Tutankhamen by himself. Because he believed in the major god that existed prior to Pharaoh 4. During the time of Pharaoh 3, the main god was Sun Disk. And so he brought its majesty, its glory back to where it was earlier. So we have completed five questions. The common thing about all these questions was that uh, reasons are asked. Reasons for Carter's behavior, reasons for uh, and changing of name by Toth and so on. Reasons are asked. And so we can club all these questions under one category and call them as in all Question number one, as a whole, yeah, or question number A. Now we come to the question number B, which too has about four or five parts. Question number B relates to different aspects of the chapter. First question in this, list the deeds, calm, deed mane kare, list the deeds that led Ray Johnson to describe Athen Khatan as wacky. Wacky means I have told you that it is a very strange thing, a very So why Akhenaten sounded wacky to Ray Johnson? That is question number one. Second, you have to give reasons in that. You have to make a suchi of the work, which is why he said wacky. Second, what were the results of CT scan? Very simple question, but important, very important one. Third question, list the advances in technology that have improved forensic analysis. Forensic jaanch mein adhanik technique ki kya kya kaise upyog hota iski suchi banaya. And fourth question is, explain the statement. What is the statement? King Tut is one of the first mummies to be scanned in death as in life. Pahli uski mummy thi. Marne ke baad ke jeevan pe is pe kaam kiya gaya tha. Jiska scan marne ke baad ke jeevan par. Iski vyakhya karo. Explain. Why somebody is called wacky? 
answer is that far of four of far of four when he succeeded to the throne after the death of far of three he started uh, one of the very strangest acts and that is why this period is also called a very strange period ajeeb or garib kal hai because he began the worship of aten the sun disk he changed his name to akhenaten the king of aten or the servant of aten secondly he shifted the capital religious capital from thebes to the new city today that is known as amarna those days it was known as amarna third he gave an extreme surprise to the countrymen when he attacked god amun i may dislike a god and i may worship another god but destroying the previous god was something very strange behavior and the previous god was worshiped by his father and images of that god was totally destroyed broken into pieces shattered the temples were closed and so on so forth it is because of this behavior that ray johnson he says that uh, akhenaten was wacky and called the time a very horrific time he further says that family that ruled for centuries looked to be coming to an end and that is what happened this is said somewhere around 1968 and as things proved tot was the last of the ruler who ruled after this king that's all and so wacky behavior means behavior which was unexpected of a king erratic behavior unreasoning behavior and what all he did as example of unreasoning behavior and becoming of a king that is cited the next question answer to the second question is about king tut death was a big happening why king tut is important for ancient egypt historical study because he turned out to be the last king of that dynasty illustrious dynasty that had ruled for years it was a big happening and big even by royal standard that is something very important royal standard matlab even rajasi paimane se bhi dekha jaye to usme bhi ek bahut badi ghatna thi his funeral that is why it became the death knell of a dynasty but all this particular death and the aftermath are not clear more than 3300 years after death tut's mummy was put to scanner and the effort was made to know the delayed medical mysteries of the death of this young pharaoh tut his body was scanned team of specialists which included radiology department people anatomy department people and uh, also forensic department people they gathered together studied the whole details and then pulled out some astonishing images on a computer screen करीब 1700 सौ इमेजेस निकली ए ग्रे हेड टुक शेप फ्रॉम स्कैटरिंग ऑफ डॉट्स यू रिमेंबर सेकेंड नेक वर्टी ब्रेड्स अपियर्ड इन टैक्ट एंड सो क्लियर एज इफ इट वॉज इन एनाटॉमी क्लास दिस शोज द साइंटिफिक एडवांसमेंट हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इट प्लेड इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग समथिंग अबाउट सम मिस्ट्रीज ऑफ टूथ of mummies third other images revealed hand and other parts of body fourth several views of the uh, rib cage and fifth a transection of skull 
this was all possible because of scientific advancement. And the advancement was so much that CT scanner of million dollars was made customized and brought to that very place where mummy was kept. Mummy was not airlifted to some hospital or some scientific research center. Mummy remained there. Why? Why they did not carry the mummy? Because that might have damaged the mummy further. It was at great risk. And so they preferred to make a machine, scanning machine, which can be brought here to the site. And that was possible again because of scientific advancement. Right? Now, next. Question number three. These days, the answer is uh, about diagnostic imaging. It is done with the latest machine, done with the help of computer uh, tomography or CT scanner. This CT scanner puts hundreds of x-rays, thousands of x-rays in a cross-section like chips, as I told you. Chips cut vertically or chips cut horizontally like slices, bread slices, vertical and chips horizontal. And with the help of these, when they are assembled together one over the other or one side by side, beautiful images come out, re-elastic images, three-dimensional images, 3D images, teen ayami pratibimba jate, teen ayami chitra jate. और बॉडी पूरी वर्चुअल दिखाई देती है, वास्तविक शरीर दिखाई देता है। A CT scanner can help examine the medical secrets of mummies buried in pyramids thousands and thousands of years back. The advance of CT scan technology also helped the forensic analysis by offering, giving new clues, etc., etc. Uh, more than 3,000 years back, the death of Tooth, a CT scan is brought and right from head to toe, scanning is done of that king, creating over 1,700 images, each image of, two, of 0.62 mm slice. And this complicated exercise was completed in three hours. His entire body was scanned and King Tut's body was one of the first to have been scanned in death as in life. Scanning also demanded that there are appropriate experts, radiology, forensic, anatomy, these experts also sat together to derive the meanings of these images, to analyze these images and come out with some scientific reasons. Now we come to the next question. Answer to the next question is, Tut's mummy was the first to be scanned. And its purpose was how the boy died. Ultimately, what was the reason for his death? At the young age of 20, that was the aim of this scanning. Apart from few other reasons, but the main aim was to know the cause of death. Was it some fight? Was it suicide? Was it killing? Was it uh, God's uh, curse or what? The main aim was also to reveal his age. What was his age at the time of death? And so these two reasons were the primary reasons for all these analysis. And with that, uh, part B comprising four questions have also been answered and you can write them down. 
Now we come to part C.